Hello there, I'm Brain Juice, and welcome to my tutorial on how to create and import your very own 3D model into your Rosebud game project. First, you're going to want to go to ChatGPT or another place that will allow you to generate photos from scratch. And then you're going to generate something like T-Pose of a big scary ogre, for example. And once that is generated, you are going to want to save your file to your computer. If it saves as any other format besides JPEG or PNG, make sure you open or edit the file with Paint and save to your computer as a JPEG or PNG. Then go to remove.bg and press Upload Image, find your file in your File Explorer and upload your picture. Once your image is finished and your background is perfectly removed, press Download and save your new image to your computer. Now go to meshy.ai and press the button that says Image to 3D. Once that's done, look to your right and click to upload your image with no background. After that, name your creation, and it's a preference, but I like to turn on symmetry before pressing the generate button. Once that is finished, click one of the four examples that fits best with your desired model. Then click on confirm to remesh and add texture to your model. Two hours later. Once you have waited forever, your finished model should appear. And at that point, you can choose to animate your character with one or two of the provided varieties of free animations. In order to animate your character, you will have to rig them and assign all the rig circles to their correct positions. Click Confirm. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time, Carl. Once that is finished and your character is animated, you can choose which animation you'd like to attach to your character. Once found, press Download and download the file as a FBX or GLB. FBX usually has the character output, but the GLB usually has the animations with skin. Either one will work with your Rosebud game project. Once downloaded, make sure you have the file saved and stored safely somewhere on your computer. Then go to the Rosebud website and select My Projects top right and click Create New Game and select a 3D blank to begin creating your first or next 3D game. Once you are in your Rosebud game project, go to your Assets tab above the Game Preview and begin by uploading your model. I will select the animation with skin file. Once your model is uploaded to your assets, click on your character model asset to add your character to the scene. The text will automatically input. You'll just have to send it so Rosie can start working on your code. And there you have it. Your 3D modeled character is now officially in your Rosebud game project. And at this point, you can just ask Rosie how to implement your model further into your game. First, you'll ask her to make the model size smaller. It seems the model is lifted slightly above ground, and this happens with some models. You'll just have to ask Rosie how to fix this if it happens to you. Until next time. Hope you like this tutorial by Brain Juice. Please like the video and subscribe for more Rosebud tutorials like this. And make sure you check out Rosebud's three different membership plans. I am a proud dedicated 10x dev member, and I highly recommend this tier for Rosebud's fullest and greatest potential. It's just $20 a month, and you can create unlimited games for an entire month. Try Rosebud and make your first game. You'll get 50 prompts per week available for free. See you next time.